Hi, in this video we are going to introduce basic for loops in JavaScript. So first, for loops in JavaScript are the same as they are in Carol, but now uh, we know enough to demystify the different parts to understand what the syntax of a for loop means. So if you remember from Carol, a for loop looks like this. We write for var i equals zero, semicolon, i is less than count, i plus plus, and count is the number of times that we want to execute the code that appears between the curly braces. So let's break down this for loop and try and understand what it means. We'll look at this uh, specific example here where we've inserted the number three, and we'll step through it, we'll trace through it, and tracing means uh, going through the code step by step. We'll trace through it and figure out what's going on. So here, I, uh, this box is the console. So we have the output of our program here. And right here, I have a box to represent the value of the variable i. So let's trace through this code. So first we, we initialize and we write var i equals zero. So we have a variable i and we set its value equal to zero. Then the second part is the test. So we see here, is i less than three? Well, yes, i is zero and zero is less than three. So then we'll execute the code in between the curly braces. So we print, uh, print line i, so we get a zero output. And then after we execute the code in the for loop, we go i plus plus. So the variable i increments or goes up by one. So now i is one. And so now we check, okay, well, is i less than three? Well, one is less than three. So then we execute the code in the body of the for loop, we print line i. Now we increment i plus plus, so i now has the value two. And then we go here with a test. We say is i less than three? Well, i is two, and two is less than three, so we print line i. And then we go i plus plus, um, i now gets the value three. And here we have the test. Well, is i less than three? Well, three is not less than three. Three is equal to three. So the value of this is false. And when this test is false, the for loop is over. And so this is why when we go from zero until less than three, we go three times. We do one zero, one for i is one, and one for i is two. So let's go into our code editor and explore this. So we'll write up this for loop. For var i is zero, i is less than three, i plus plus, and then we'll print line i. Okay, so if I run this program, we get the numbers 0, 1, and 2 print out. So remember, if I change this to 10, then we'll get the numbers 0 through 9. Also, remember, you can uh, print multiple, uh, have multiple lines of code in the for loop. So let's say I change this back to 3, and I print line um, i, and then I also print line i times 2. So here we get, uh, and we'll, we'll add a string here to make it clear. We'll say uh, i plus i's value, and then 2i plus i times 2. So here you go. At first i is 0, and then 2i is 0, i is 1, 2i is 2, i is 2, and then 2i is 4.